Adding to an already full plate in Akron in 60 days, the company that provides non-critical ambulatory care for the people of Akron will shut down. That will undoubtedly stretch city services, which are already thin. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg explains why the impact of this decision may be felt for years to come. AMR's closure here in Akron not only will result in about 50 people losing their jobs, but the services that they currently provide will now go to the Akron Fire Department. It's a numbers game that never ends. About 9,000 times a year, the flashing lights of an ambulance will leave one of Akron's 13 fire stations. But that is just one part of the equation. For non-emergency medical care, private ambulance services like AMR step in to transport another 13,000 patients every year. And for them, the numbers no longer add up. And AMR has decided to close up. Their finances are supplied strictly through the transports that they make. And, you know, Medicare and Medicaid are not uh, real big payers when it comes to reimbursement for EMS transports. Eric Burns, the president of the Ohio EMS Chiefs Association, says Akron's current conundrum is emblematic of existential issues within the EMS industry. AMR, a for-profit company, has notified state regulators it will close by August 1st, saddling its future call volume onto the backs of Akron Fire. The decision comes as AMR and the city failed to come to an agreement in which the private ambulance service asked the city to subsidize its services to the tune of $11 million over five years. Medicaid, sometimes we will get $110 to $140 uh, a call, and you can't uh, sustain that when you're paying your staff $36 an hour and uh, your trucks cost to you know three to $100,000 or you know, and the equipment inside of it's 100,000 plus insurance and, and benefits and things like that. So I can completely understand where private EMS services are really struggling to maintain their staffing levels and to keep those people paid because let's face it, reimbursement's not there. Losing AMR's services will cause Akron Fire's call volume to surge 142%, which officials hope to offset through increased recruitment, retention, and overtime. But the calculus will only work through the thinnest of margins. I wish Akron the best of luck. Uh, if their run volume is going to jump 142%, they're going to find out what it's like to really work. So, um, and I, I hope that the city of Akron and and uh, AMR can come to some kind of uh, agreement that I can understand both sides. In Akron, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5. And Akron's fire chief just released a statement in part saying because of our employees and due to the support of the city, Akron Fire will continue to adapt to the ever-changing environment of emergency services and provide excellent care to Akron patients.